everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and I'm back to do another jar lid, this time a little bit different than any I've done. So this is the jar lid, taped in the back, in the bottom. It's got a little ridge in the inside, or a little inset in here. This is what it looks like. It's one of these guys that you pop open in your sugar jar or whatever. So I've never done one of these before. Figured I'd give it a go. I've just discovered a beautiful color palette. So I'm going to continue to use up these paints and using my blue uh, scraps that I've got right here. And let me just get, let me, let's just get into it. This is my blue scraps. And this is every time you see me scraping up the painting, the paint and putting it in a little jar, that's what I'm doing. I, I cycle it out, I re, um, recycle it through a strainer, get all the gunk out, hopefully, and then I reuse it. And this color is like a beautiful robin's egg. So what I have here is some Deco Art uh, Sky Blue Topaz, and I've been playing with this all day today. This color combination, I've made ornaments, I made another, another lids set that these lids sell really well downtown. They're easy to make. I slap them together, resin them, and put them out there. And so now I'm trying a different type of lid. Let's see how this does. I mean, once you learn the techniques, you can pour on anything, quite literally. That was Deco, uh, that was Artist Loft Metallic um, Blue. This is my Payne's Gray combination with Golden and Arteza. Gorgeous, gorgeous blue. It's Payne's Gray, but I'll tell you, it's really blue. Make sure I get enough of this down. And then I'm gonna have my American Floatrol, oh, oh, before that, got my gold. Such a classy looking color combination when it's all done. Are you a little thick? You're a little thick. And the white. American Floatrol Cell Activator white. That video is linked right here. And I've got it down in a little cup that's on top of my Noosa cup. And I do have a video about how to not let your stuff fly off that involves showing you what I do with a Noosa cup. I'll see about posting that number up above. That's the white cell activator. It's a little slow coming back. And the black. Let's blow this thing out. <clears throat> Here we go. So those that have been watching me know how I like to talk through the blowout. And basically I'm blowing straight down into the cell activator to kind of get it to form a nice pool and ridge. And once I start to see a ridge form where the cell activator is ridging up, I then start blowing it over the top of the paints and the paints out over the pillow. Now, if you've been watching me also, I've been slowing down my blow a lot to make it a little more patient and deliberate as I'm blowing it out. And in this case, this lid is so small, I can blow it straight to the edge, which I don't really typically do with a coaster, but because it's small, I really have no choice. I run out of space. So that's all I'm doing here, blowing this out until I get all the cell activator pushed out over the, over the paints and the paints over the pillow. Okay, hopefully this cell activator will come back in the middle. I might blow a little bit out. Let's see. So anyone brand new, you'll learn that I like to use the straw. And what I'm doing here is just trying to spread out that cell activator so that the paints underneath can push through and I can start seeing those cells form. Hmm. I, I don't want to blow the cell activator out right now because I just love how it's all developed. I'm hoping it's going to come back in the middle. 
put that one aside. So I typically keep my extra straws right by the table, but I had just washed them, so I have them sitting in a drying rack right now. But I always keep at least five or six extras. And if you're asking why, it's because after you've blown through the straw a few times, the heat from the air and the lungs and the moisture creates spittle, and then the spittle will start to push out onto the composition. I'm banking on as I start to spin it, it'll start to pop through in the middle, but this is all looking really pretty. The nice thing about this blue recycled paint is that it's not so in your face when you get an air bubble. In other words, it's not like a major white spot popping out at you. So even if you don't catch it, you won't notice. Okay, I'm going to leave that black in the middle because you know what? It looks kind of dynamic to me. I don't always have to have everything celled up. I'd like to know where all the Payne's gray is. But this has got quite a lot of variation in it. It's really pretty. Some richness over here with the Payne's, some lightness over here in the sky blue and blue pillow combination. Some nice lacing and some good cells. It's a good one. It's really pretty. I love this combination. You got blue, 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 and gold. Nice. That black in the center makes it give a, a depth to it, like you're looking into, into space or something behind it. It's really kind of cool. I wish you can see what I can see here. Sometimes you must think I'm nuts. But the fact of the matter is, I don't toot my horn enough. I'm really kind of modest, a little humble. Okay, that's really nice. Get a little bubble here. See if I can get some of this moved over. Look at look at how this lacing is on that gold. It's just running in beautiful patterns, and it's showing up here like frost. It's beautiful. So pretty. Okay, can I please dunk you? I just covered it up a little bit. All right, maybe one more spin, and I think we're going to call this one ready. That was quick and dirty. Oh, big old white spot there. Eh, it's not a white spot. It's a blue spot. Let's see if I can get it completely gone. Think she's done. Okay. Let me get the bed ready. Okay, here we go. Make sure I'm picking it up right because I don't want to. I'm not familiar with where I put things on this one. So here's this one. Beautiful. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have my final resin results here of two jar lids, the one we created on the right and a different one on the left. I was gonna create this video for you guys, but I've in inadvertently deleted it. Anyway, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think they're gonna be really cool being an airtight type of 
Charlid as another option in what's available. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. I'd love to hear what you think with a comment and a thumbs up would be nice too. And above you'll find a link to my Jarlid's playlist if you want other options. Take care everybody, till next time.